here, Carrie. Not very much has happened this week, so I'm just going to warn you. This is a perfect example of a vlog where I have no idea what I'm going to say, and I've just pressed record. So, good luck. This is all improv. Improv vlog. Imp vlog. Imp improv vlog. This is what happens when you don't plan what you're going to say. So this week I've been forced to go through all of my possessions and get rid of stuff because over the years I've accumulated lots of stuff and I'm a hoarder, I like to keep stuff and we've just got a lot of clutter so we've had a week of organising and sorting out the house. Anyone out there with kids will feel my pain. When you have a child, your house doesn't look like a house anymore. It looks like... um. It looks like Dorothy's house in The Wizard of Oz after it's been whizzed around in the tornado and landed in Oz. That's what your house looks like when you have a kid. Your kid is the equivalent of a tornado. So I've been driving stuff around to lots of different charity shops and donation places and having arguments with traffic wardens because I pulled over on a double yellow line. I've come up with an invention. What You should have your hazard lights because I had my hazards on I know this isn't acceptable, I was in the wrong, I pulled over on a double yellow line because the, the door for the charity shop was right there and there was you could pull over here and I had loads of stuff or I had to park miles away and then keep going back and forth with all the stuff that I was dropping off but I was doing a good deed so my idea is that you should have good deed lights on your car and I don't know, it's like sparkly and pink and green and yellow or something it looks really happy and when you have that flashing everyone knows that person's doing a good deed don't give him a ticket or clamp his car he's doing something nice I mean it doesn't get you off with everything you can't just have it on all the time and you know go speeding around but pretend you're doing good deeds it has to be legit I don't know how you you would enforce that maybe you'd have to have like good deed wardens who go around and check that those people are doing good deeds. I'd do that, I'd be a good deed warden because the only people you're catching and giving tickets to are people who are pretending to do good deeds and aren't and therefore they really deserve a ticket. I mean I haven't thought through all the ins and outs of this yet. I mean it's it's in the early this this idea is in the early stages. I'm just I'm just planting the seed out there so this idea can grow. Feel free if you're a politician to take this idea as a starting place and let it grow, see where it takes you. I think traffic violations should be discounted if you're doing a good deed. If I rule the world, that's what I would do. I started singing that like it was a song that I knew, but is there a song that goes, if I rule the world? There's a Spitfire flying around outside, if you wondered why I paused then. Pretty sure that's a Spitfire again. I'm gonna sorry, go have a look. <clears throat> now it's a helicopter. Shows how good my knowledge of, <laughs> of aviation. I meant to be in the know about aviation. I was a pilot once. Can't even distinguish between a helicopter and a plane. Embarrassing. That's the type of thing dads know, isn't it? When your dad, like your dad's the person who goes, sounds like a helicopter that, or that's a Spitfire, son. I should be able to do these things. I cannot. Anyway, in the process of sorting through my stuff, I, uh, I discovered all my old lyric books. Basically for every album that I've ever written with McFly and McBusted or, or Busted back in the day, um, I had a different lyric book per album. So I found all those today and that was fun going through them. Found lots, I've got them here actually. Okay, this one. I mean, they're really embarrassing to go through. I wrote my name in the front. That's the set list for the Motion in the Ocean tour. This is the Motion in the Ocean lyric book. Age designs for the tour. <laughs> and I even did a coloured one in felt tip pens. But look, this is what I, I actually sent that off. I sent that off to like designers. To be fair, the stage looked exactly like that. We had, anyone, if you came to that tour, you may remember we had a beach bar where fans could go and sit and be on the stage. Dougie had a hammock in, in between his bass cabs. I had a blue piano and I also found the lyrics to um, uh, to the Ballad of Paul Kazanskis, 
Or well, it was written on a Malmaison card. We obviously wrote it in a in a hotel room. I'm drinking Coca Cola. Feels like I'm getting older now. Always like finding the lyrics because you forget what when I read them. It takes me straight back to that moment when I was writing them. I told this story before, so I'm not. Well, I'm, maybe I'm embarrassed about it now, but when I told it initially, I wasn't embarrassed, so it's out there. I wrote the lyrics to Bubble Wrap, um, a song of ours, um, on the toilet, and I was on holiday in Walt Disney World, and uh, and I found, I, I'd obviously grabbed a piece of paper, and I found it was at the Polynesian in Disney World, and uh, whilst I was on the toilet, I wrote the first, first verse to Bubble Wrap. Here is written proof. I wish I could bubble wrap my prop. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say. One other thing I was thinking is I still find it weird when a police car or a fire engine or an ambulance or something with a siren, when it drives past, the note changes. That's still weird to me. I've had it explained to me before. I still don't really understand why that happens. If I ran past singing a note, why, when I get to here, would it go, Aah. That just popped in my head. I think I heard it. I must have heard a siren going by. Anyway, that's about all I've got for you this week. Sorry it's been a rubbish vlog, but I've had a rubbish week. It's not been rubbish. It's been productive, but emotional. To make up for it, here's a dance. Cue music. Hit it. Do you reckon I can do that thing that Michael Jackson does at the end of black or white where his face changes? Is it working? No? Oh. You've been you, I've been this person, goodbye. Hope you have a good week. Bye.